I can't win. Well, that's uh, that's definitely a miss. So now uh, you are up there, Scotty. I'm just gonna hit the one directly in front of me. Just bludgeon him across the owl. Nice. I like that. Bludgeon. Uh, that is definitely a miss as well. That should right. be a plus four though. Uh, actually, I think I got him. Did I? No, I did not change it on the damn sheet. On the still a miss by one. So because they do have a twelve armor class. So you are good to go. You're done. Uh, now the clerics up. I cast healing word on the barbarian. All right, 1d8 plus three, plus four, actually. So just roll a eight, your eight-sided die and add four to it. He has 10 more hit points. Nice. Such a swell cleric. Then I should actually start using my healing spells now. <laughs> You're almost out of spells, aren't you? I think I have one level two spell left and no, one you're out of level twos. Spell. Yeah, you're you're out of Okay, I think I might have twos. one level one left. Yeah, yeah, you're getting close. Alright, now it's the owl bear's turn and I'm going to just one second, I'm adjusting one more character sheet. Sorry about that, everybody. Quick question. How many level ones do I have? Uh you probably have You've burnt through every, basically every. Are you keeping track of them or or no? Uh, I lost track. I lost track of them. All right. Well, I'll just say you have one spell left, so because you only got back two to begin with, and this is the second round, so this would be the second spell that you're casting. So. Well, before you said I could use my magic missile as a level two, so. Well, level you two did. Spells, you did. Okay. In the previous fight upstairs, you cast a. Uh, no, no, yeah, no, no. no, actually, this on this one, you, the the owl bear yeah. on the left, yeah, you cast it as a level two. Yeah. So does that count as towards my level two? Oh, of course it points? does. Of course, there's okay. no free I'm spells in D and D, dude. I have no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm sure I've never played. I've never played as a mage before. Well, that's all right. Spells. Don't worry about it, dude. Uh, I'm, I'm used to. You're being, doing fine. Being the, yeah, I'm used to being the fighter. I'm used to just running up and hitting stuff. You're fine, man. You are doing fine. So you got one level one left, so. Okay. But then you got Ray of Frost as well, so. All right. Which I always miss on. First hour bear, owl bear on the right is going to attack you three times, Mr. Bull. And. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, atta attack number one is 19 versus armor class. 19. Second, yeah. second attack is a miss with an 11, and the third is a 13, so you will take a whopping total of seven slashing damage. The owlbear that is on you, Scotty, is going to attack you three more times. First attack is a 9 versus armor class. Second attack is a 10 versus armor class. And the third attack, which is the bite, is a 16 versus armor class, which I believe hits you. And you will take a whopping total of 10 damage, actually. So the heal that was just given to you is taketh awayeth. Yeah, this is just a beginning fight, Cypher. I'm not trying so to do question. anything too technical, man. Yeah, what's up? Uh, on my level 1 proficiency, it says I gain uh, proficiency of a weapon style of my choice. See list in PHB. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was the what? armor class that you had gotten. Your plus 1 armor class. Okay. No, that's no problem, dude. That's... I just didn't know what PHB stood for. Yeah, player handbook. Oh, right, okay. Hold on one second before we continue. Uh, before my cast away frost, did that we we have plus fours so added to our two hits, right? Plus four to added to what? Yeah, that's yes. Uh, plus four, okay. Um, and I have I also have the proficiency on that, which is a plus two, right? No, your total is should be a plus four. Okay, I'm, I'm I, I got myself all confused here. My bad. I'm, I'm just. All right. You are now up there, Mr. Fighter. So, Bull, you have uh, your attack. 
Oh, for four damage. Oh, I thought you were going to say for something else. For F's sake there, Batman. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. <laughs> All right. That's better than three, I guess. <laughs> That's like, shut the front door. That was one of those there, man. All right, you're up, uh, Woodchuck. Old Woodchuck. All right, I'm going to bounce in and bounce out, so I'm going to jump in here, make an attack. I hope he fails his dex check for uh, stealth, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have the owlbear attack him three times next time. That's a hit. Uh, that's a hit. This is just a fun game tonight, guys. It's nothing, Four nothing too damage, technical or, or anything like that. And to bounce back. All right, give me your uh, your dex check there. Dex check for stealth. Uh, I'm not stealthing. I thought you were uh, you were disengaging. So okay, th I'm that's actually yeah. oh, okay. All right, I got gotcha. you. All right, you're up there, uh, Mrs. Mage. All right, I'm going to use my last magic missile. All right, on the left one or the right one? On the one that's wounded. Oh, okay, they're well, they're both wounded, so. All right, well, the, the one I've been hitting. The one on the left. Okay, yeah. go ahead. So three D four. Yep, three D four. 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 All right, <laughs> this first owl bear collapses. A bunch of feathers, kind of. Poof. Even though he doesn't have feathers, I was just being corny, but that first one is dead, and now the. Uh, your attack is done. So now you have a dead owl bear in front of you there, Scotty. Can I just push him, top him over, and then just charge him the next one? All right. Yeah, actually, uh, Bob Moobot does. Uh, let me let me add you to the the list there. Uh, Fourteen is a hit. I'll add you to the list there, Mr. Longshot Bob, after this damage attack here. Yep. Plus four, plus two more because you're enraged. Wow, nice. 14 damage. Whew, you hit him pretty good. Was that your first hit tonight? Oh, that's right. That's right. Up upstairs. All right, now you are up there, Mr. Clerk. Okay. I move right here. And I cast the spell Bless. All right. You bless the party within, what, 25 feet? Yep. Yes. All right. I'm going to put a 25-foot aura on you. And everyone within this aura will be blessed. And uh, I end my turn. Uh, quick question. Since I'm uh, 15 feet above, am I technically within the circle? Or no? Do what now? I'm technically, he should be blessed. <laughs> yeah, I'm 15 feet above on the next floor. Yes. So am I blessed? Uh, no, you are not. Okay. Uh, actually, Mr. Longshot Bob, you are now on the regular list because you do hang out in the channel quite a bit. So you will be able to do links now. Just uh, don't do any so stupid it would shit. Be bears. That goes for everybody. Just not zero, not anyone. So. Okay. Uh, yep, the cleric is done, and now it's the last living creature on the encounter tracker. So he is going to turn towards the. Barbarian, just after getting half of his arm ripped off from that axe, he is going to attack you three more times. Man, look what happens. You draw attention to yourself, man. I'm the dog. Oh, you are the dog. Yeah, if I can just... 11 versus armor class, 11 versus armor class, and 13 versus armor class. So actually, the last one attack you and hit you, and actually has done 7 piercing damage. And now it is your turn there, Bull. A 13. That's a hit. Nice. Uh, for six. 
Yep, he is bloodied now. And now it's uh, your turn there, Woodchuck. All right, here we go with the attack and the bounce. So I'm going to move in. So what does Bless do? Uh, plus 1d4 to, oh, to hit. Wow. And I missed. And that's a miss. Alright, now the mage All is right, up. So up you're disengaging. Out. That's right. Yep. Go ahead and bounce out. And uh, you are up now. I, I could um I'm going to use Way of Frost, so one D twenty. Yep. Uh that's a hit because you add your proficiency yeah. bonus in there and your intelligence oh, and that's a hit. And so you I do, do some 1d8, just a flat 1d8 for yeah. Ray of Frost. Five. Nice, max damage, holy cow. The, the first time I hit with that spell, I actually do good with it. Yay. Yeah, nice. And am I allowed to cast Illusion to try and distract it again? Nope. You've already had your action. One spell around anyway, so uh, now the Barbarian's back up again. I'm just going to swing in his face again. <laughs> I like that. Just to the point. Just gonna swing in his face. Right to the beak. I can smash it up. <laughs> I love it. Uh, plus one d four. Does it matter? Cause I'm hit. He hit anyway. Yeah, he hit. So we gotta do that and add your enraged damage as well. Nice. Yeah, nice damage. Alright, and now the cleric is up. Okay. The the owl bear looks to be in very bad shape. Is it possible for me to move to the side and just swing and just swing for the stars? Swing for the stars, man. Go for it. I'll even give you advantage because you're behind the target. So roll okay, twice, advantage. take the best roll. Roll twice, okay. take the best roll. There you go. I would still have. To, okay, never. Mind. I just spoke blonde moment. <laughs> It'd be plus four, correct? Plus four, yep. Plus one d4. Plus one d4. This is for as, the as well. Yep. Just hit your uh, 20, 1d20 macro twice, and we'll take the best roll, and we'll add the uh, modifiers in for you. Oh. Um, oh you got to do slash. Just hit the, the, the roll. Just hit the macro button on the character sheet. 1d20. Or type slash roll space 1d20. That was failing on my part. It's all right. Yeah. You, you still hit anyway, so because the the ten hit, so. Don't I get a second roll? Go ahead. See yep. You see if better? you can get a crit. Yeah. Let's see if you get a crit. Go for it. All right. You hit. You hit with a uh, nice score. You don't even have to do the additional D four. So, go ahead and roll your damage. I did eight. Yep. And you kill the the owlbear. So, bum bum ba bum. You guys won. You guys won the fight. You have two owl dead, blah, blah, two dead owl bears in front of you. And the room is semi lit, but there is still more room to be un, un, uh, uncovered. Actually. Okay, I'll take the west wall. Uh. Uh, if I would, would I, would I survive falling through the hole, jumping to it? Yeah, I could throw my rope up through the hole. I do have one. It's a about a probably twenty foot drop, so you'll take a little bit of damage, but you can you can jump down. What if I were to land on one of the dead corpses? 
the two dead owl, owl players. Probably would land one of them, but uh, that softened the, the, the impact. I, I will let you jump on the owl bear, like sort of like a like a trampoline. Yes. All right, I do that. It's like swinging from a chandelier. I've always wanted to jump on an owl bear just one time. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you could skin them. They've actually got a nice, nice fur coat to them. It would make a a great addition to your to your uh, hooded cloak there as a barbarian. And Can't as I fly land, I my uh, sharp end of my quarters have go through the owl bear just for added effect. So I'm going to pull out one of my handed axes, one handed axes, and just stop hacking away. And skin. <laughs> All right. It'll take you a little while. We are evil. I kind of turn and ask, can I have one of the skins if you don't need both? Uh, yeah, sure. Just, so you. you you get up to this altar, and it looks to be of elvish descent as well. And the the room is actually quite empty, except for this altar. And there is a... Uh, glowing or not a glowing orb but just a uh an orb that is kind of pulsating on the top of this on the top of this uh small shrine um i'm going to slowly approach it being cautious and i'm going to cast oh, damn it, i don't have any level one spells that you are out of spells bud yeah uh I would know it. Sure, I'll, I'll let you have it a, a lore check on that. And you can actually tell that this is a probably a pretty powerful altar in some way. It's something that you've never seen before, nothing that you've actually even heard of before because of all of the, the elvish runes and everything on it. So you're guessing that it does have uh, some great power. Did it have great responsibility? I will move back as they are walking up on top of the altar. I will move on the other side of one of the dead uh, owl bears for cover. Okay. I'm going to walk up right up to the altar. Okay. Did anything happen when I walked up to it? No. It, you just see this orb that's kind of just floating above the above this altar. I'm going to poke it with my staff. All right. Zoop. As you poke it. You disappear. What? You disappear. Um, where'd the mage go? Uh oh. Barbarian, are you done cutting this up yet? <laughs> yeah, I just look up and start chuckling. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, the mage is no longer on the platform. If I go to the platform with my elven, con um. Reading skills. Could I roll an intelligence check to see if I can describe what's on the thing? Sure, you can okay. roll an intelligence check. So, but... somebody grab Buddy and throw him on the altar so we can see this thing. <laughs> okay, I I walk over, I grab Buddy, and I baseball throw it, like fastball <laughs> throw it right at the orb. <laughs> Buddy the Rock disappears. Boop. Now you lost your light. I cast it on my broken bottle, and I. Uh, on my empty bottle, and I cast light on an empty bottle, and I just keep it out in front of me. <laughs> if I can do that. And if, and a few seconds later, a small pile of dust appears at the bottom of the altar with a staff and a robe. Okay, a guys. Small pile of dust. dust. It looks like to be ash and dust. Okay, do not touch the orb. Let's go back to town, get the Archmagus lady, and see if she can tell us what the, what the hell this thing is. Uh, why don't we leave it and go downstairs and see if we can find more books and things like that, or see if we, there's anything else before we head back to town. Would we know if there's more than two floors? A disintegration he orb, guys. Yeah, he said there was uh, the stairs kept going down, and we stopped on the next level. Yeah, this is the this is the final level. You you scour the area, and you don't see any other 
any other uh, staircases or uh, doors or anything like that. Oh, this is the lower level? Yeah, this is the lower level. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you said it was right. the stairs. That's no, alright. I'm gonna check the walls of the room, see if mm -hmm. I can find any secret doors. Would bugbears generally keep some type of treasure? You actually do not. I'm just gonna be a, uh, save your roll, but no, you you do not find any. Okay. No, okay. No, and what about what about on the uh, around the the edges of the altar, not on the the altar itself, but around the sides? Uh, there's you you actually give me a a roll on that. I actually I want you to to roll on that. No, you, you don't. You don't I find anything. But when you, you know, you're scouring around the top. But when you get to the top, there is a there's a robe, there's a quarter staff, and there's a backpack. And it seems like the the mage just kind of disintegrated because there's some like an ash type of uh, powder within all of his all of the gear on the ground as well. All right, I'm uh, gonna pick up the backpack. Yeah, okay. Are the books still there? I make a suggestion we don't even go by the orb. There might be traps on the altar with the orb. Let's play this cautiously. Well, there's been no trap uh, tripped because Woodchuck has been all around uh, checking out the actual altar for, for trap doors and everything else. So he has found nothing. So basically, mm, chances are there's no there's going to be no traps up there. Okay, I move a little bit forward a little bit forward, trying to be cautious and seeing if I can read any of the runes on the ground. You cannot read anything. Do you speak Elvish? I do. All you know, that they are an ancient Elvish rune that has not been spoken. Actually, an old ancient Elvish language that has not been spoken. A dialect of Elvish language that hasn't been spoken in thousands of years. Anybody uh, got I... any paper? Paper yeah, I was going to suggest that you uh, sketch some of it down to see if we can just decipher it, or if somebody can. Yeah, you can. You can stick the end of your your weapons, you know, the butt end of the weapons, into the the ash that's in the you know the items there on the top, and you can actually kind of you know trace it out. Okay. I pull out my iPhone and take a picture. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, Wrong game. That's modern day zombie <laughs> apocalypse. <laughs> oh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you guys think we should do now? Well, I think we take all the gear and we go talk to uh, talk uh, to the lady about um, uh, how to save our friend or to see if they're actually dead or not. Okay. Did we get the books off of her charcoal body? Yes, I grabbed the backpack. Okay, let's get the hell out of here and go to the end and get drunk. Yeah, I just want to get paid. Same. Yeah, um, being neutral, I would agree with that. Because everybody in the party is morally aligned at neutral. All right, so you guys gather the, the books, you gather Tanaka's gear, you kind of try to scoop as much of the yeah, ashes as got. you can, and you head back to the, the town of Loudwater. And you, uh, what do you want to do? You're in the town of Loudwater. You know that, that Gim had told you that, that you can actually return the, you know, anything that you have found to uh, Lady Moonfire. Let's right. talk. Let's talk to Lady Moonfire before we start our drinking. Right, and so Lady Moonfire, uh, she was with the caravan that's heading to she's, Waterdeep? She's the nope. leader of Loudwater. Correct. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep, and Gim was the one that actually was leaving Loudwater to go to Great Peak Mountains. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, and so where do we find... Hey, wake up. In the manor. In the manor. All right, number sixteen. Okay, so I All guess right. let's uh, head to the manor. All right, so you go to the manor. The servant goes and in, uh, inside, comes back with uh, Lady Moonfire. She comes out, and 
She's actually quite disappointed hey, because there aren't really that many books, but you explained to her that, you know, the troglodytes had actually invaded the, uh, the catacomb and were using them basically as firewood to keep warm, and this is all you could salvage. But, you know, she is, she is disappointed, uh, not in you guys, but just disappointed in the fact that the, the books are, are destroyed. So I go, Miss, may I ask you a question? And I kind of raise my hand. Yes, Sonny Boy. There, in the bottom <laughs> level of the catacomb, there is an orb. One of our party members touched it. It was disintegrated. You might know what that orb is. Oh, the the mystical disintegration orb? That was really down there? Yes. We've only heard myths and stories about that. Oh my goodness, yes. If that's down there, I must send a, a party down there to retrieve that. Okay. I hope everyone is okay. Most of us are fine. Our friend got disintegrated. Did he, he, did, he did, did she touch the orb? She touched it with her staff. Yeah. No one detected magic before doing so? I kind of wasted that on a box. Oh no. Yes, she is she's definitely toast. Her, her goose is cooked <laughs> basically yep. is what she explains. Suddenly a ghostly voice comes in and says, You can all suck my magical dick. <laughs> oh, it's all fun, man. It's it's all fun and games until someone becomes a pile of ash. That's what Tanaka sent me a tell. Because it's all fun and games until somebody becomes a pile of ash. So I kind of I kinda of give a very polite bow and I say, if you can we get compensated now for the task and we will be on our way while bowing, trying to be as polite as I can. She uh, she <laughs> She has her servant go into the house and she thanks you, she takes the books and she says these will she's will this these will serve the realm well and we will get these back to Waterdeep with the utmost importance. So, she closes the door. A few minutes come by. Uh, her servant comes back out and hands each one of you a a box. And she says, in each one of these boxes, there is a weapon for you. This is for helping us retrieve the books. She thanks you. She walks in, closes the door, and you all have boxes basically with a uh, weapon of the first circle. So, I will add those weapons of the first circle to all these level 3 character sheets. I have, I got the bugbear pelt, correct? Or one of them? Yes, yeah, there were two pelts, so I guess uh, Scotty took one, and uh, if Scotty gave you the other one... Um, I asked yeah. him, he said sure. The thing before I could give it to him. Oh, that's, oh, so... Oh, okay, never mind, I, yeah. I still have it, kind of with a smile on my face. <laughs> right. I mean, did you give him to him or, or what, Scotty? Uh, no, <laughs> no way. He kept it, so he's got two okay, owl, owl bear walk. pelts. Okay, I go back to the bar, and I sit at like an empty table. I pull out my my last bottle of rum. I open it and go ah to the mage and point it in the air, pour a little on the ground, and start drinking it. To the mage. And again, a ghostly voice appears to each of you and says, You can all suck my magical cock. <laughs> and that's, that's where. What, that's what happens when the mage doesn't take the tech magic. <laughs> and I didn't have a choice in the matter. That was, that was actually my fault. I did that on purpose. <laughs> you knew I'd go up and poke it somehow, didn't you? Uh, I knew somebody was going to go up and poke it, but anyway, that's where we're going to end the, end the uh, one shot adventure. And I appreciate you guys for, for playing tonight. If, if anyone's curious how I poked it, uh, who here has seen uh, Return of the Jedi? Just out of curiosity. Oh, who hasn't seen Return of the who Jedi? <laughs> I've met people who have not seen any Star Wars movies. All right, guys. Well, that was our one shot for the week. Uh, sorry we got started late. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It wasn't too technical. Uh, we had some new players this week. Actually, several new players. So... Next week is going to be a level 17 game, and I would like to have some more experienced players for next week, uh, because I want to test the mechanics of higher level content. So if you are uh, up for the task for a, a large battle, 